Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On outside White Hart Lane. We've got that winning feeling again, that's two in a row. Yes, it was only Carabag. It was 3-1 Europa League, but you've got to get the points on the board, haven't you? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. First 20 minutes, first half an hour, we conceded a goal. Kieran Trippi, I think it was, who gave away the penalty. He looked just kind of like he was excitable. It was his first start to the club and he just went in a bit early. Things weren't looking too good, I have to say. But in fairness to the crowd, they didn't get on their backs. They were still charting, still supporting. And we got a couple of great goals from Hung Min Sun. The second one, which was all set up by, De by Dele Alli, who is without doubt the fans' new favourite player, I think. He left two defenders on their asses and then just set up Sun to finish it off. And he had a worldy of a game, Dele Alli. Absolutely brilliant game. So I'm going to say it. He's got to stay in the team. I do think he's a possibility for Young Player of the Year nomination at the end of the season if he keeps it going like this, because he is a kind of player that... Not just Spurs haven't had for a long time, but England haven't had since maybe Steven Gerrard used to play at his peak when he was uh, still quick. Basically, he's desperate, Dele Alli, to get beyond the striker. Now, for how many years have we been saying that we don't have players to get beyond our striker from midfield and score goals from midfield? He's desperate for it the whole time. He's running the channels, he's getting in between, and he never gives up and he never hides, ever. So... The possibility of Kane playing up front with Ericsson, Son and Ali potentially behind them is a mouth-watering prospect. Also, Clinton came on second half. You know, he didn't get much time, but he looks like a raw talent. And, uh, you know, they're the major positives, I'd say. Dyer did a good job again. I love the way he plays in black boots. He hasn't got silly bright boots like the rest of them. He's an old-school Tottenham uh, stallion of a player, dare I say it, without trying to get into porn language there. So that was good. Trippier was okay. Danny Rose had a bit of a kind of complacent, weird game. He gave the ball away a few times, but I'm going to stick to the positives. We got that win. We can go into the Palace game on Sunday feeling confident. This is going to be a tough game against Palace on Sunday, guys. If we can get a win in that, then I promise you we can go into the, the Guna game next Wednesday night with super confidence and try and turn them over at the lane and lay down a real marker for this season. Anyway, that was my match review. Let us know if you agree in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.